What is Shivaratri? What? Shivaratri. Shivaratri. It's about Shiva. Well, I'll uh, tell you about Shivaratri <laughs> after a few days. But let's uh, stick to understand Shiva. So Shiva has to be rediscovered. Something that is covered, that is Shiva. Shiva is uh, permeating through everything. So you got to discover, remove the cover and discover Shiva. So every year on the specific day, the people celebrate the arrival of Shiva. It's a ritual perhaps or a symbolism with its uh, astrological importance and uh, impact on the atmosphere of the earth. Well, it, everything in India, every ritual is connected to some uh, cosmic uh, astrological connectivity. But yet, I would think Shiva is some, something that percolates everywhere, a force and a charge. And if something is forceless and chargeless, that's also permeated by Shiva. So to understand Shiva, we are all bound by behaviors. See, where our attention is in a transaction, it's about the behavior. And the behavior is permeated by Shiva. Shiva is a connotation, a nomenclature. To understand that is what is permeating through these transactions or behavior. If you exit the realm of behavior, then there is expressions. Like if you see a person all alone in a room without transactions and they are just alone, they are expressing themselves. That is outside behavior perhaps and more into expressions. And we have not seen our own expressions devoid of transactions. This requires an elevated mindset, perhaps even sensitized mindset. And outside the transaction, outside the behavior, outside the expressions, there is a, there is a belief systems. So a person, they have a belief of right and wrong, concepts, maybe from scriptures, maybe dictated through some uh, priests or religion or theocracy. Whatever be the case, they have some belief system. Like there are countries in the world that will not see darkness for many months. But some of you have not seen those uh, uh, Scandinavian countries where there is no darkness for many months. They will never believe that there are portions of earth that never experiences night. Everything looks day for them. 11 p.m. could be very bright. But whereas here near the equator, near India, 11 p.m. is very dark. So belief systems are there. So you have a person behavior, a person's expressions, a person's belief system. And over that is trust. Trust is outside belief system. You simply trust that I'm okay. Things will be all right for me. And there are uh, two sides of the same coin. Everywhere there are opposites. There are opponents for everything. There is a contrast. There is contra. There is counter. Well, either which way, whichever side I go, I trust that things will be okay. This is trust over and above belief. Now, belief has to be uh, diluted to experience the trusthood, the trust. And outside trust is the faith. Faith is that there is no thing that can happen without Shiva. So Shiva is the faith. Even if you're protesting against Shiva, even if you're dissenting from the diktat of Shiva, even if you want to be disobedient to Shiva, the power, the charge, the force inside the disobedience against Shiva is Shiva itself. The force itself is Shiva. So there is really no disconnect from the Shiva. That is freedom. Because you are not hiding, there is no private, there is no personalized, something which is secret from Shiva. Any which way you go, it is permeated, percolated, intertwined, interlaced with Shiva. That is faith. So if you dissent, if you protest, if you revolt, if you walk away, if you disconnect, yet you cannot be disconnected and delinked, you cannot be delinked from Shiva. So right from behavior, to expression, to uh, belief, to trust and to faith, it's all permeated by Shiva. So this recognition allows you to liberate yourself from the clutches, from the grip of severe, uh, severe uh, suffocated framework of behavior. You are free. Shiva is freedom and in any confine, any, uh, any confine, any framework, in any border and barrier, if any boundaries are there, inside which is Shiva, the border it's, which itself is Shiva and external to it, if you escape, that's also Shiva. 
so enjoy your shivaratri and uh, celebrate meditate do your breathing techniques and look forward for every day to be a shivaratri have a nice maha shivaratri this year